What's up, guys? We're back on our road to Dark Aether here on my second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from Fire saying he wants to get the RPG done on Mario Day Token. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Also, this week, it was a pretty close contest of our suggestions. I think it was only like one or two likes between the top comment and the one under it. So keep those suggestions up. Make sure you leave your suggestions down below if you want to see me use a certain weapon. Uh, we have all the weapons that we have completed in a comment below so far after this we're gonna have the sigma and then two tack rifles i'm pretty sure and then we have dark aether and then we'll be moving into our dlc weapons a bit of a run-on sentence there but let's hop into our rpg so i went through i got this thing leveled up to level 29 it's not max level but it's basically there and i did this all in multiplayer because in zombies you only need 1500 kills with it so i assumed that we'd get it pretty fast and i didn't want to have all the camos done by the time i went to go record a video so i i struggled through it in multiplayer for a bit so let's check out what we have to do for these challenges obviously 1500 kills we just went over for liquid we need two or more enemies rapidly 50 times should be pretty easy brushstroke we need to kill five or more enemies with a single shot 50 times we need 1500 kills while it's pack a punch 10 special or elite eliminations should be pretty easy we need 10 kills rapidly 10 times and then once we get to level 30 we need our jackrabbit medals with this which is 20 or more consecutive kills without getting hit and i haven't used the launcher since phd has been put into this game so this should be interesting the only thing that's going to stop us from using PhD is getting our jackrabbits. Because similar to stamina up while going for social distancing where you would have taken fall damage, it counts as taking damage so you won't get that challenge done. It's the same thing here with PhD and explosive damage. So we need to be very, very careful when doing this. But really quick, let's put on our attachments. Uh, What's a good explosive one? You know, let's use jug. That's a nice little charm. And for the sticker, I'm going to put on shell shocked. And what's the other one? Let's just do double shell shocked. Double egg bofa and we have ring of fire currently i don't know if that's the best thing to have with rpg we might try it out once we get closer to getting it done but i think our best course of action here might be tesla storm either that or aether shroud i think we'll go with tesla storm but let's go ahead hop on mauer and try to get this thing done all right here we go flying on in <laughs> going in with the most or the weirdest weapon we've probably used so far with the rpg definitely not an rpg in our hands though but since we do have the bowie knife melee kills with the rpg are not gonna count back when i first started playing zombies i remember a lot of you guys were getting mad at me for not upgrading my melee to get the bowie knife and that was just because i'm the early rounds with the launchers i wanted to be able to get camos by meleeing them i know it's pretty insignificant and we weren't getting like that many more kills doing it but i just wanted to be as efficient as possible and then it kind of just became a meme to not upgrade it but since we have to get multiple zombies in a single shot here i'm gonna try to train up the whole round of zombies right at the start i'm gonna see if i can take them all out with one rocket i think i will be able to and as long as we don't take damage from it we can start getting our jackrabbits actually no we're not a high enough level yet but we'll, we'll be close i think i might have a strat for jackrabbits i think we're just gonna sit up by wonder fizz and do that but let's try this let's make sure we're far about enough back to not get hit there we go the whole round in one rocket we like to see let's grab our loose change go ahead grab it thank you and make our way down. Make my way downtown with the RPG trying to get camo. New single on Spotify now. Honestly, this is going to be so much training here. So I don't want to down myself and I don't want to get hit, even though I just did right there. Got to conserve ammo too. So that means we should probably get power on as fast as we can. We got a big group right here. Let's go. Pop this open. Grab our loose change. Do we have enough to open this door? Probably not. Yeah, we're going to need to double our money. Zombies, I need you guys to all group together for me. Uh, I'll take two. There we go. Level 30. So we can start working on our jackrabbits right away. That's perfect. Jackrabbits are definitely going to be way easier at the start here. Oh, double points. Let's give it a second before we grab them. We have nine rockets left and we're going to have no money. It's going to be a struggle getting started with this. All right, zombies. Group up. Sweet. Oh, there's a few right here. Gone. We have enough to open the door now, so let's go do it. We'll wait for the zombies to all to spawn on in and we can train them up. Actually, let's just get a few while our double points are still going. Six seconds on it. There we go. Now we only have four rockets left and we still have to open a bunch of doors. We still need to kill the Tempest too, and I might melee them a little bit. Are you in here, Tempest? Yep. There's a melee for you. Another one. We'll run back here. Tempest, teleport out here. Thank you. All right, here we go. Okay, that didn't kill the Tempest, but it killed a few zombies. That's the Tempest kill, so that's an elite elimination. Give me that fuse. We might need to get Mule Kick to start, because ammo's going to be a huge issue. Like we got we got lucky that Tempest dropped some. We really had to buy some. No way that only killed one. Aim assist on RPGs is so useless. So I'm trying to splash damage them by hitting the ground, and it keeps locking onto bodies. All right, let's open this. Try to race across the tracks. Don't hit me, please. Thank you. And we'll take our loose change as a reward. I think we're definitely going to need more money to get through this. Yep, we need 1,500. Now, I'm debating whether or not I should buy ammo before buying the door or if I should just buy the door. 
But either way, I'm gonna train all these zombies up. I gotta like do extreme couponing with ammo. It's extremely dark though. It's hard to tell where everybody's at. So I'll just run around up here until I feel like there's enough. Come on, zombies. I'm not gonna hurt you. Just might blow you up. This is gonna be perfect when I get shatter blast. Because I do not have to worry about crits. Can you imagine if you had to get crits with a rocket launcher? You know how accurate you have to be? And if it was all individual shots? Oh, no, I would not even do launchers. I'm glad launchers or launcher camos are polar opposites in zombies than they are in multiplayer. Zombies, you get them done in like one game. I mean, you can get most guns done in one game, but you don't have to worry about crits. But in multiplayer, it takes like, I don't know, a week or so if you're not solely focusing on the launcher. Let's try this. Only four kills there? This thing's bullshit. This thing sucks. Only two there? Okay, they're lying to me now. Max ammo. At least we got that out of it. There we go. Two or more enemies rapidly, which should be very, very easy if we're getting multiple kills with one. Now they're tanking shots. These zombies got flak jacket. I can't escape it. I can't tell you how much I my my hatred for flak jacket was like rekindled leveling this thing up in multiplayer. So many people run flak jacket for like no reason other than just to piss people off that are trying to use the launcher. There's so many times, even in hardcore, where I'm just shooting rockets and you just see the flak jacket icon come up. Absolutely awful. Let's put that in. Now we need to go get the other fuse. Uh-oh, train coming though. We're gonna need some cash. So zombie, I need you to die. What? Mustard. Climb up. I dare you. Bitch. What's up, train? Is one not coming from the other side? Weird. Okay, didn't need to hit me there, zombie. Kind of a dick move. We're already back down to like no ammo and we just got a max ammo not that long ago. Just over here, training in the dark. Yeah, everybody climb up from the same spot. That didn't kill a single one. The RPG falls off so fast in zombies. This is ridiculous. Fell off plus ratio. Okay, and you're gonna hit me. Guess what? Tesla Storm. I'm gonna weaken all of you. Might have killed a few, but who cares? I care a lot, actually. There we go. Got one there. This is stupid. Oh, the RPG's awful. Okay, I, I say that after we get the most kills we've ever gotten with one rocket. Oh, insta kill? Bet. Can't believe we need an insta kill with a rocket launcher, but we do. Let's just try really hard not to get hit, because that's going to suck. And we're out of ammo. So can I still afford ammo and the door? Let's see. Buying ammo, 250. Okay, that's not bad. We can afford the door still. What's up, Tempest? Bopped. Oh, one-shotted. I can one-shot a Tempest, but not a zombie. Okay. I see how it is. Even with PhD, I don't even think that people use the RPG, like, at all. Oh, I forgot this loose change. Can't believe that. Let's throw that in. But, like, the RPG's so laughably weak that even when you get a perk that makes it so you don't damage yourself with it, it's still bad. I'm pretty sure you do more damage to yourself than you do to zombies with this thing, which is ridiculous. While the zombies are nice and slow, I'm going to try to train down here. I'm still getting hit a little bit, but who cares? Get all these guys grouped up. Come this way so I can sneak back over here. Let's stun the whole horde. Get all those points. Knock them all down. I get knocked down, and then I RPG again. There we go. That's a jackrabbit medal. That's what we needed. Nice boundary camo, too. And let's grab the nuke since the round's over. Perfect. It's round seven, though. We are <laughs> definitely lollygagging here. We need to go turn on the wonder fizz. Or not the wonder fizz. Pack punch machine. Can we upgrade this? We can. Thank God. We need more damage. Now, hopefully, when we start getting pack a punch and perks, this thing starts to speed up. So we're going to need to get mule kick and then probably... PhD just so I'm not like hurting myself and then probably speed cola like we're gonna be getting a little bit different of perks to start here but we can also train these guys up a bit even though they're gonna have way more health than usual these zombies might be a three shot kill honestly oh yeah disciple you want to you want to try to life steal me you've never dealt with the RPG before okay big group of zombies I can get the hell away from them let's try this killed four of them okay that's doing a little better Let's try to get all these kills before taking out the Disciple. Actually, let's just kill him. Fuck it. I don't care. I need the ammo. I'll take a decoy too. That's actually going to help a lot. And then maybe we pack a punch. Ooh, okay. Hold on. This thing looks nice with pack a punch. Holy shit. The jug, the fucking jug tag. Beautiful choice. It matches the pack a punch so much. Mauer's probably got the best set of three pack a punch camos, in my opinion. This and Forsaken really are top two. Now that it's pack a punch, can I kill him one shot? Oh, you bet your sweet bippy. Quick threshold camo. That means we're really close on those. That's the second to last. An insta kill? Might as well. What's it gonna hurt? Only them. All right, let's head on up. And we're getting meal kick first. Oh yeah, and the, the, the Pack-A-Punch name for this is the CR17D20. So uh, I don't know what the fuck they were on there, but that's a long name. And basically, this is my strat, all right? So I'm gonna be training around the tank till we get enough zombies to spawn in. This is like my strat with like Shatter Blast and everything. I'm gonna train them in. And then we go up the rope, all the zombies are gonna group up to go climb up, and then we just get rocket kills like that. Hopefully that works, and we can get a lot of jackrabbits that way. My main concern is zombies spawning behind me. That's why I like to train up before going up there, because I could just stay up there and like shoot down at them, but we're definitely gonna get hit from like the side or something. 
Like a zombie's just gonna spawn up there and get us. We're not paying attention. The movement speed on this is kind of bad too. Like it's probably comparable to LMG speed when sprinting. We have a nice group here though. We probably don't even have to go up the rope. Oh, perfect. We took out the whole round with one rocket. That's the good thing about the RPG. If it's doing enough damage, that's fine. But I doubt at health cap this thing can do anything. We just got so many camos too. Just the worst part about this is I have to sit here and train and wait for all the zombies to spawn. I would turn on the rampage inducer, but I know I'm going to get messed up. And I don't want to have to try to set up and turn power on with the RPG again. Oh, please don't hit me. I got to keep the jackrabbits going. All right, this looks like a pretty big group of zombies here. Let's get them all in a tighter little pack. Actually, there's a few stragglers. I might as well just get them all in. I'm trying to jump the gun here. All right, now that I have them all golden corralled, sleep. Literally one rocket slapped them all, except for the one guy that got to the group late. Oh, and then I do damage to myself like a genius. We got it leveled up though, which is nice. I still don't even have armor. Okay, let's get speed cola and PhD. And then let's go see if we can grab armor. Oh, I forgot about these guys. We got pans are coming in. Pans these. Honestly, maybe I should put a uh, death perception on. Just get the salvage up. And then once we get enough money, I think we're going to throw shatter blast on this just to make it so much easier. All right, let's try this. Ooh, beautiful. How much damage does that do to the Panzer? If any. Oh, a quarter of his health. Oh, this Panzer's got to go. He's going to fuck up all the jackrabbits. Oh, double points. Why is it always spawn at the end of the round? Panzer, you need to go. Oh, please. Please just fucking die. Thank you. There's our scavenger camo. I'll take that intel and the battery. And you get a tea bag for your charge. Didn't I say I was going to go get armor and I just upgraded the RPG? I'm great at this game. Guess what, disciple? Sleep. Give me a forward armor or no. Let's go ahead and check. Nope. Back to the ye old train up and shoot. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? There goes a jackrabbit if I had one going. Well, honestly, as long as we're training them up and shooting them and I'm not getting hit in between like shooting it and it killing them, we should just get a jackrabbit for every bullet that we shoot or every rocket rather. All right. Don't do self damage. Oh, let's go. Sunder camo. Surprised no zombies have dropped armor for me yet. And there's our glacier camo. We're at 250 kills with it. We need 1500. All right, let's go ahead and grab jug. because I feel like we're going to need it. Now do we have enough for armor? I can never remember how much it costs for the first tier of armor. All right, we, we have to have enough now. There's no way. Yep, there it is. Perfect. We actually have 40 rockets now. I'm not going to be stingy about my ammo. Even if I do have no aim. Ow. Don't hit me. I need jackrabbits. There we go. Big blast. Honestly, if we can get all of our jackrabbits done, this is going to be easy. I'm just going to shoot at my feet with PhD. But to make it a little easier, let's throw on Shatter Blast. And it's on. Honestly, once we get a little more set up and I get like all my perks and my armor up, I might just turn on the Rampage Inducer just to make this go faster. Because most of this is going to get cut out because it's just me running in a circle. There we go. I got hit there right at the end. So whatever I just got toward the jackrabbit is gone. And it's gone again. Looks like it's starting to leave crawlers which is not a good sign. That means we're doing even less damage than before. Or at least the damage is starting to dwindle. Take out the Disciple though. Oh, he just tanked it before we one shot at him. Yeah, damage is going down on this. All right, Disciple, say goodbye. No way that didn't get a single zombie. I must have threaded the needle perfectly. There's our glitch camo. Eight times. How many times do we need to do it? 20. Spawn in zombies so I can get the double points. Thank you. And kaboom foam plastic. I'm going to go up here and grab quick revive. There it is. All right, our double points is almost about to expire. So we need to get this kill right now. Perfect. Oh shit, Tesla Storm. Okay, kill five or more enemies with a single shot. There's our degeneration camo. I'm trying to keep up on what I need to do. I'm pretty sure all we need to do is jackrabbits. Like, we don't have to think about anything else. So as long as we're keeping up with those and doing them early and often, we should be good. I'm gonna grab stamina up too. It's gonna make training a lot easier. Oh my gosh. I forgot about tormentors. The worst mobs in this game. Oh, actually, never mind. They're helping me get pack a bunch of camos here, and I think they do count as specials. So I'll take it. They might just mess up all my jackrabbits, but who cares? Spawn in. Sleep. I'm just spawn killing them. Gone. Next. Go to bed. Oh, busted my armor. That's not cool. Max ammo, though. That is cool. Okay, let's just get armor level two, armor level three. We'll save the rest of our salvage for our RPG. And there's a panzer. What's up, panzer? Start getting some shots in you. Oh, he's gone. Right there. Perfect. Don't have to worry about him the whole round now. I will take my ammo back though. Quick reimbursement. Spawns might be faster if I just go right here, actually. Might be a little more compact and easy to train. How um, how did I only get three? Explain that. Of course, a max ammo spawning right after a max ammo tormentor round. Classic. Oh, a conviction. There we go. Is that it? Is that the last one? It can't be, right? What? After going for Dark Aether twice. Like, I'm almost... I almost have it unlocked twice on two different accounts. How do I still not know what camo is last on 
like jackrabbits and things like that. And another max ammo spawn. You know what? I'll just take it. That's three max ammo in the last round when I don't need it. I'm going to save myself the trouble and I'm going to look up to see if Conviction's the last one. Okay, so Conviction is the last one. So we're, we're chill. We can literally just sit and shoot at our feet now. It does not matter. So then I'm going to go up here. We have 10k. What perk do we need? Might as well get dead shot. Uh, even if we aren't going for like headshots, it improves our damage if we're hitting the same thing multiple times. But now I can just sit here and shoot right at the ground. Do no damage to myself. Because all we need is kills. Oh, it's going to get real laggy. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Does it look the same over on the recording than it does on my screen? It does. Maybe we will turn on Rampage Inducer. Just get this so fast. And let's get Death Perception. Might as well get Elemental too. Once we get Elemental Pop, I'm turning on the Rampage Inducer. It's decided. And then we just... Oh, actually paused it. We, then we just need to get to 1,500 kills. So 1,000 from here and we're good. Oh my god. Did the damage just say 1738? The Fetty Wops with us? Okay, yeah. This thing isn't even one-shotting zombies anymore. That's rough. Oh. It just came to help us. They just dropped the insta-kill to help us out. Now I could use a max ammo. That would be nice. There's our grudge camo. Our last rocket. There we go. Time to leave. Give me ammo. Thank you. I just watched that zombie disappear in front of my eyes. Deadshot might have been a bad call. It keeps wanting to lock to the zombie's head, and that's not where I'm trying to shoot with this RPG. Ooh, maybe we should... Okay, I'm moving the goalposts. Once we get pack two, then I'll turn on the rampage inducer. It's already starting to get a little tough without it being one shot. Because now we have elemental pop, which is great, but I need pack two. Maybe I should go down to electrical room. Maybe that'll be faster than up here. Well, it for sure is, but is it survivable? Ooh, there's our downfall camo as we're falling down. Coincidence? I think not. Oh, double points. That'll help us get pack a punch faster. All right. I'm going to go down to electrical room until we're ready. Let me upgrade. Oh my God. It's the evil mimic. The deceiver. Why are you on, down here? Rokasha, the receiver. Receive this dick. Why do you tank so much damage, pal? Joe, it's because he's a boss zombie from the side east rig number seven. Don't you know? No, shut up. Don't care. What the? F okay. You're going to grab me. You're going to go to sleep. You just wait for it, pal. One of these rockets will kill you. And you're going to be sorry. One of them got you. Just wait. One more. Okay, you sleep. Elemental pop got him. There's a rising tiger. That actually helped us out with camos, so that's perfect. Go on in, zombies. Don't be shy. Just need kills. I can actually just... Oh, my God. I was going to say, I can actually just... You know, use Tesla Storm and let the zombies come right at me. Guess what? Ran right into a nuke. Ah, <sighs> It's not easy being stupid. Oh, and we got a Panzer. What's up, Panzer? Let's eat rockets. Oh, and a Disciple. The whole family's here. Oh, we brain rotted it somehow. <laughs> I'm literally just shooting it. Not even looking at what I'm shooting at. And we still don't have enough to get pack punch to. I'm gonna go repair my armor though. Brain rot, die. Thank you. Come on in, zombies. The water's fine. I love it when grinding camos is like brain dead. I don't got to think about anything. Just shoot. Shoot RPG. Kill zombie. Get camo. Easy. Oh, double points? Don't mind if I do. We have to go get our double pack this round. And turn on the rampage and do so. There's Funkadelic. There's Funkadelic. Jeez, what was I even saying there? It was so Funkadelic, it made me not have any form of speech. It's weird how they move the pack punch camos in this one, though. Like, normally, it's like the first one is normal kills. The, the next one's pack punch camos, but... For this one, pack punch camo is like the fourth one down. It's under the, the vintage. Okay. Let's go get it. Definitely need it at this point. We also get this to purple. All right. Give me pack two. Thank you. This is what the RPG looks like with pack two. Our juggernaut chain no longer matches, but still looking good on it. We got to open this up. Zombies, leave me alone. Thank you. Goodbye, disciple. Nice knowing you. If I can hit you. Okay, never mind. You can stay. Let's go turn on that rampage inducer. I think if I just take this rope up, it'll lead us right to it. Going up. On a Tuesday, grabbing it. All right, be fast now, zombies. I'm going right back down to electrical. Jump over the railing. Ooh, big boom. Now, hopefully we don't die in electrical. My main fear here is running out of ammo and then just falling over and dying. Because what are we going to do? Box them all to death? I don't think that's going to fly at round 23. But let's see how this goes. We got 24 bullets. Hopefully Mule Kick clutches up and gets us uh, some ammo. But we'll see. I think we'll, we'll be fine. Knock on wood. Everybody knock on wood right now, please. Oh, we're going in. Look at this high level, intense, 100 IQ gameplay. Literally can't see anything that's going on. This is awesome. Oh, we got a little crawler, buddy. Good night. Give me that. 
How many kills are we at? We're about halfway there on kills. Hopefully this starts to go faster now that we got Rampage Inducer on. And it looks like they're dropping ammo. At least a little bit. They're keeping us afloat. But man, is it lagging. I hope I don't crash my game. I'm really pushing the limits here with the explosions. Might as well get the insta-kill. These zombies feel like not dying to a rocket. Uh-oh, only five bullets though. Okay, we just found some more. We're good. As long as you guys keep dropping ammo, I'm chilling. Round 25. And it's a uh, tormentor round, so we don't have to worry about ammo for a little bit. And we can get some, uh, what's it called? Special or elite eliminations in. Uh-oh, we're getting hit markers now. Not a good sign. Just gotta stay moving just in case. Man, the damage really falls off on this thing fast. It's one round, you're one-shotting everything. The next round, they're a two-shot kill. Oh, and we have a panzer. Perfect. Honestly, I don't know why I keep trying to aim in with this before I go to shoot it. I just gotta aim in anyways when I go to shoot it. It's gonna start tapping my right trigger. I'm just getting this done. Oh, and we got 30k. We can go get this triple pack. And we're leveling up. Look at us doing things. Drench camo, five or more with a single shot. We, we don't have that one yet. It's gonna only get tougher from here. Because if they start getting to the point, if we reach a point where our pack punch and our tearing up of the weapon can't one shot a zombie, we're gonna have to weaken them all, then do it. And that's gonna make that challenge extremely difficult. But here we go. We have pack punch three. This one doesn't look too great because there's a whole lot of this pattern on the camo that I don't like. This purplish blue is beautiful, but then it switches to like that almost tier one pack a punch from like firebase and d machine where it's just like really bad color combinations and it's like why even put that there but we're heading back down we just need 500 more blue salvage and we can get this thing to gold but i think that's gonna be a while yeah let's try this throw down the decoy everyone get on the decoy is that enough with one rocket for you oh no tesla storm then decoy then rocket i mean we're still getting jackrabbit medals down here even if it is because like we're using decoys and tesla storm still pretty huge another max ammo i'm actually just gonna try to train them up to get that one rocket multi-kill thing there we go that's pretty good i have to kill five or more each time these guys are all pretty weak there's bloodshed that's a thousand with the rpg still need to catch up to a thousand while it's packed there we go launcher master oh, i did not mean to hit that nuke i can't just stop hitting nukes accidentally when i don't need them it's just not a trait that i have to dodge nukes everybody on the decoy please let's get them perfect beautiful Oh, there's our chemical camo. All done with the five shot or the five in one shot. Hopefully that's it for, you know, our camos that we need to use our brain for. I'm having fun just jumping around here and shooting. This is no effort. Yeah, this is not like one shotting a lot of zombies anymore. Oh, Boutique. A thousand walls pack a punch. So we just need 500 kills now. Or I mean a little more than that. Actually, no, 500. I was thinking we hadn't gotten there on normal kills for some reason. The pains are just spawned. I can't hear anything. It's literally just explosions. That's it. Nothing but explosions and dust. Another Panzer spawning? Jeez. Let me kill this one too. Oh, wait, are we done with our, our elites and specials yet? I feel like we're behind on that. That's one that I'm kind of concerned with not getting. I, you feel like I, I would have killed 20 already. I don't know. I don't be paying that much attention. Oh my God, the launchers are so just brain dead easy with PhD now. <laughs> Literally doing nothing but shooting. What is that? Insta kill? Perfect. Give me that. My health actually just got low there for the first time. <laughs> I need to be more cautious, I guess. Or probably just need to rebuy armor. That would help. All right, let's go get our armor. I guess we're going to get a quick little boost of special and elite zombies. If this isn't all the special and elites that we need to kill, I don't know what to do. It feels like we already have a lot. Oh, and we have enough to upgrade this fully. So let's go do that. There we go. Is that all of them after this? I think it might be. Yep. Give me that max ammo. And a nuke spawning immediately. Don't need that. All right, now if this thing starts... Like, taking two shots to kill something? I think it just did there. Then we know this thing's butt cheeks because it's fully upgraded with Shatter Blast. Like, it, it, there's not much more we could add to this. There's actually nothing more we can add to it to make it better. This thing just might suck. I really, really hope I'm not missing something and just wasting rounds by just blindly firing this thing everywhere. We're at 1,500, so we should be very close to being done with our normal kills if we're not already. I don't know why that camo hasn't popped up. But then we're not too far behind on our Pack-A-Punch. Panzer, get away from me. I don't know who you think you are, but you're not that guy. Back the fuck up. There's Rotten. Okay, so we were extremely close to it. Just needed a few more kills. I don't know where these extra kills could have came from. Maybe PhD? But 100 from PhD? I don't think so. Weird. That means we're very close on our Pack-A-Punch, though. Hopefully, this will give us gold. If I miss an entire, like, camo category, I'm gonna be pissed. Wait, we leveled up? Is that it? Show us the medals. Any camos there? Nope. Jeez, my arm went so far out there when I turned on my Tesla Storm. Explosive recoil is no joke. I'm actually untouchable right now. With insta-kill, Tesla Storm, and PhD. Oh, there's Gold Viper. What a time to get Gold Viper. While I'm just absolutely 
unstoppable. Let's go. And then we can exfil immediately. Yep, finishing off with the mana camo. Only 1,500 kills needed. Not bad. Let's get out of here. Start up that exfil. Absolute perfect timing there. Let's grab the armor and get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm retreating, Valentina. I don't care. Whatever you're doing, it does not matter to me. I'm only here to make my gun look pretty. Shoot him down though. Shoot down the X-Fill. Idiot. Rising up to the X-Fill. Killing all the freaking zombies. Uh-oh. My controller battery's low. New boss. New final boss. Can I get out before my controller dies? I think we might be able to. That's the storm. Finish off the rest of them. There's only three left. Where are they? Where's our last zombie? What? Oh, he just jumped up here from crawling? Madman. All right. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Perfect. Let's see our final stats. 1,868 kills. Two critical kills. You can get critical kills with it. No downs. No revives. Gamer. All right. Let's go ahead and take a gander at this RPG with some mastery camos on it. This is it with Gold Viper. Not the greatest. Not the best. But we got it done. Here's Plague Diamond. That means we're only one launcher away. We just need the Sigma, the Sugma, the Ligma. We need to get that done. Then we will have another Plague Diamond class and be one step closer to Dark Aether. So we only have our launchers and our attack rifles left. But let's go ahead and see what this thing looks like with Gold Viper in game. All right, this is what the RPG looks like in game with Gold Viper. Definitely way better in game than in the Gunsmith. But, you know, so does every weapon. Looking real nice here. It would have been cool if the actual rocket got a camo on it, but I don't, I'm not a programmer. I don't know how that would work when you actually fire it. But looks pretty good here. The matte black on it helps out a lot with all the accent areas here, the accent metal. Looking pretty nice. Is there a way we can get some nice lighting on it? Looks very dull until we bring it to like right here, maybe. maybe if we pull it down a bit, that looks good. That looks pretty nice like that. But there you have it. Our first launcher is down, meaning that we only have one more left plus two TAC rifles. So make sure you leave down below what TAC rifles or the launcher you want to see me do next and on what map. But I think that's where we're going to have to end today's video. So if you guys like this and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please start subscribing, put out all kinds of COD videos throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.